Hi. <laughs> it says that I'm live, so I'm assuming that this is correct. I haven't done it before, and uh, this is my first time going live. And um, this is something I've been putting off, but I've wanted to do it for a while. And um, I'm hoping that somebody will join me in here. I don't know how to get this chat up or to how to see. I'm just going to kind of push some things and see what happens here. And uh, see if I can get, let's see, welcome to live chat. Remember to God. Okay, that's not what I was thinking of. Let's see what we have here. Let me try this thing that says participants. Let's see what we have there. And I'll see if anything comes up on that. Um, I'm going to wait a little while to see if anybody uh, comes on here. Uh, but either way, this is going to be a, uh, a video that will go up. Okay. So I'm here and I'm in my craft room. And this is where I like to do my uh, crafting uh, videos for my other channel. This is frugal crafting and decor. And so this is the most comfortable place for me to do my live streams. And it doesn't look too dark in here to me. I hope that it's not looking dark. Um, and I hope that this is working. It says that, uh, that, I'm, that I'm live. Um, I don't see that there's anybody on here. Um, I don't see that there's any participants or any of that um, on here. But uh, I kind of figured that might happen. But this is what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about organizing and planning. And uh, I think that um, this is very important. This is like the foundation of your garden. Because you need to be able to be organized and planned so you can have the best results. And I'm going to show you uh, what I do. This is going to be the first video that I'm doing. And then I have another, uh, I'm going to do another video where I'm going to show you the equipment that I use. And there's a lot of different equipment that different people can, can use. And um, you can go back and look at some of my uh, previous videos and you can see the results that I got with this equipment that I do use. And, and it has been successful for me. And all my stuff that I grow, I grow from seed, whether I direct sow it or whether I start it inside. Now this year, I found that I've been very ambitious. Spring's not here yet, but I guess because of COVID and all this stuff going on, it's making me really uh, want to garden. So I've got things. I mean, I've got my hands full in the spring. As a matter of fact, I'm a, I think I'm going to try to get some help in the spring to get some of this stuff done because there's going to be planting and, and different things that I'm creating an area, um, which I had talked about in my video where the one, if you didn't see that, go back and look at the one that's about this channel and it tells you about me and all that. So you can get to know me. Okay, so I have here, you know, to show you what I do when I, first of all, this year I went over to Johnny Seed, and over there you can go in there and they have something which brings up a calendar of all the uh, different vegetables. It didn't have everything because some stuff I had to look up. But most of the common things were there. Um, but you can look and it'll tell you when um, it's set. You got to look, you got to know your own um, date, you know, your own last cross date. But it would tell you from there how many weeks when to put it out. And it, it was like a whole thing already done for you. So that's a lot of work if you do it on your own. So I use that and uh, I found it to be, oh, Mama J. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my first live stream and I'm glad somebody came over and said hi to me. And I hope you can see me. If you can see me, say yes or put a why, say something so I know that you can see me and hear me um but uh anyway um uh, 
I um, went on there and I came up with my own plan here. This is my uh, what I came up with for me because of the things that I know that I planned. But the basic um, things was um, in the headings of the things that I'm keeping track of. The first thing is the name of the vegetable or fruit, whatever it may be. Um, I don't know if you can see me, Mama J. I'm not sure you can see me or hear me. I sure hope you can. Because if you can't, I don't know what to do to um, to fix that. Because I can see you there. But I don't think you can hear me. And, um, oh, okay. Mama J says, hello. Mama J, congratulations. Mama J, yes, I can hear you. Now I can see the comments, Mama J. I couldn't see them before. <laughs> I'm so glad you joined me. This is wonderful. YouTube uh, uh, made this where we can now do lives. When you, you know, before it was so tough because you had to have such... You know, they, they had it where you had they had so many people, but uh, now we can do it, and I'm so happy about this. And I'm happy that uh, it's looking clear to me. It's looking light. And uh, I got my little green light on up here, and uh, this is where I'm most comfortable at. So I'm going to get back to um, talking about what just the headings that I use. I put the name, then it's how many weeks before your last frost that you should start it inside. Okay, so I thought that was important, and that was on there. And then your the actual date that you will plant the seed. Okay, inside, I'm talking about inside, starting your stuff inside. And then the next one is how many weeks from that time that you planted it inside, but how many weeks from then is it safe for you to put it outside? Okay, so that's another way. And then the last uh, uh, category I had on here was um, you are bright, but there is a uh, uh, scratchy sound in the air. Oh, God, I wonder what that scratchy sound is. Uh, let me think. A scratchy sound. Huh. I wonder if this. Let me see. Now they got this. Oh, I bet you I know what it is. Hold on. I have these little things plugged in that sends a sound out um, because I got like spiders and stuff like I can't stand spiders. And I put that, it, it sends that sound out in the air that they don't like uh, that. So you know what? I'm going to go unplug that and see if that's it. Okay, hold on. I kind of got myself boxed in here with some stuff I wanted to show y'all. <laughs> but I'm going to go unplug that because I bet you that's what it is. Hold Okay, I'm back. Let me put these back down here. All right, let's see what you say. Bingo. Okay, good, good. They say that some people can hear that sound. See, I can't hear it in here, but I guess on here, this is so sensitive, it was picking it up. But I'm glad I caught that. I'm glad you told me about that. So I'll know from now on. I unplug that. Okay. So um, so those are the things. And then I ended it with the date that I'm actually going to plant these things outside. Okay. So that was my first thing. I got a sheet for um, my um, vegetables. And then I also 
uh, uh, got flowers on here too. All right. So um, I also from that get a calendar. So I get the calendar. I like a big one. And I take the calendar and then I go on here and I go down and put on what date I'm going to plant what on there. And so far, this has been good because before I would be just planting like tomatoes, peppers, squash and different things. And they were doing well, but they would be so big by the time I would be like, oh, my goodness, I had stuff in here flowering. <laughs> So this way, because I'm tempted, I'm so to plant, let's see. Oh, hey, Lion Crest Outdoor Garden. Hey, so glad you dropped in. I've been talking about, um, you know, organizing and planting your garden and how important that is to do that. So you can have a prosperous garden. And um, I take and um, I'm going to recap this a little bit for him. I uh, take and I have a sheet. I went to Johnny Seeds and on Johnny Seeds, they have a, you, you go in there and they come up with this whole big uh, uh, chart with all the vegetables and all the information. And it's very easy to follow. So I went on there and um, I came up with this here for me where i put the name of the, the vegetable i put how many uh weeks before uh my last frost started inside that was one category then the other category was when to actually start that seed inside and then my next category was like showing me uh how many weeks it would be from then to put it safely outside and then the last category was planting it outside so i have a sheet with my um vegetables and then i have my uh flowers and i have been i think it's because of this covid and and, and all this stuff that i have been uh very ambitious this year and i was saying i'm gonna probably have to get somebody to help me in spring because I got things that are going to need to be planted and everything. Let's see. Yes, very organized. Are you very organized, Line Acres? I think that's so important. Very, very important. And so I put everything on the dates on my calendar. Oh, Alicia, I hope I said your name right, Cooper. It's a great idea because you also have a record to look back on next year. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know that can make next year easy because I can have my calendar. I can have when I started stuff. I can know, oh, yeah, I started that on that day, but yet, you know, that was a little bit too late. Or I started that on that date and I should have, you know, changed that date for one reason or another. So that, that record is very important, Alicia Cooper. That's very, very good, good comment there because that's so true. That is so true. And I'm finding uh, this, I'm, I'm an organized person anyway, but I like to organize and then I like to micro organize, you know, you know, like for certain things because I'm going to show you like, with my seeds. Now I don't have any fancy seeds set up or anything like that. Let's see. Let's we'll see. Uh, Lion Crest is a, a weakness, but I've been working on it. Okay. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. We all learning and growing. We all learning and growing. Let me pull this out of here. Now this is what I have, how I have my seeds. And I'm going to tell you, um, I'm trying to turn this around the right way. I like open storage. 
I don't like things closed up where I got to open something up or go through them. I like mine open where I can flip through it. Okay. So anything that I usually do. Oh, T. Thomas. Hello. Hi. Welcome in. Welcome in. Just talking about planning and organizing your garden. All right. All right. Uh, so this is what I do. Now. These are just plain old Ziploc bags. And I have a uh I have two of these. Okay, I have two of these. This one here will be things that are for summertime heat. So in this one. So when I get ready and I know, oh, I want to plant things. These are my, I'm looking for my peppers or I'm looking for my tomatoes. I know it's in, it's in this one. I don't have to go through and searching for stuff. And then inside I have like in here, all peppers. So all my peppers are in here. All right. So when I need peppers, I just get this, pull it out. And these are my peppers. And like when I was making my shopping list this time for my seeds, because I don't, you know, like to just go buying stuff when I don't need it. I just went in here. I looked at my peppers and I and I said, OK, I need this. I need that. And what I try to do when I plant is I think about I got to have seeds for my spring harvest. I mean, for my spring planting my fall planting, and then I want to start out the next year with some seeds because I don't want the next year to come and I don't have any of those seeds because what if I can't get them? So that's how I try to plant my seeds to have enough. And it's a guesswork, you know, it's not precise, you know, but that's what I try to do. So I'm so glad. Hi, everybody. Good to see you guys. Yes. Okay, you have yours closed, but I'm looking for a better way, okay? And I have the paper clips together, uh-huh, in order. Hey, if whatever works for you, if that's what I find, it's whatever works for you. And I know how I am, and I like, I like uh, you know, like here in my craft room, all my crafting stuff, I have it open. Because when I get ready to get something, I just go to that thing, get it, pull it out, and I know. And, and they're organized, so I like that. So, you know, I think everybody have their own way of doing it, you know. But it, it's the main idea is to do it, to do it. And you'll find you to make your life so much easier. And so like that, you know, and then this one here is my tomatoes. And all my tomato seeds are in here. So if I need tomatoes, there they go. Then this one here is my eggplant. All my eggplant seeds are in here. So I think that, um, you know, having your things organized, it's a big plus. It's a big plus. I always had a system, but I'm fine-tuning my system. And that's, that's what I think. You grow as you grow, as you learn, then you start uh, doing things a little bit differently. And maybe better, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So I think that, you know, that was the main thing. I wanted to come on here. I hadn't done a live stream. I was, um, you know, I'm kind of afraid to do it. And I said I had tested it one time because I, I investigated how to do it. And I tested it and I said, okay. And then when I got ready to do it today, I didn't know. I, I, it was easy, but I had forgot the stuff that I did when I tested it. But I got, you know, going with it. And um, and I'm glad to see that, uh, you know, I have some people because I thought to myself, oh, I'm not going to have anybody looking because, you know, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't say anything, you know. But I said, I'm going to go ahead and do it as a video anyway, no matter what. OK, but I'm so glad to see you guys here. And um and some of you guys tell me about what, how, what you're doing. What are you doing in planning? Uh, any kind of thing that you're doing for your garden coming up season. What are you doing? Anybody? You doing any kind of planning? 
Have you started any seeds? Ah, Mama J, I'm glad I was on the line. So I, I on the the line. So I was excited to see you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yes, I'm excited to see everybody. Um, yes, Alicia, Aliza. I hope I said it right, but forgive me if I didn't. Cooper, you planted uh, petunias and uh, uh, pansies early. Okay. What about this? Put in your zone. What zone you in? I probably won't recognize it anyway, but maybe to help somebody else. I'm in zone 6A and B. So it's really 6A, but when I look it up, it always says 6A and B. So that's my zone. And I don't mind saying uh, upstate New York. That's, that's, that's where I am. And uh, so, you know, we do everything later. Uh, right now, I have planted some onions I planted onions uh, inside. Okay, let's see. Oh, you're in 6B. All right, we're neighbors. Hey, neighbor. Oh, see, Thomas, I've started my seeds, and I am asking my family what they would like. That's a very good thing to do. Very good thing to do. Don't be growing stuff that you don't like or people don't want to eat. Because what did you get a bumper crop of that and nobody wants it? You know what I mean? So that's a very good thing. Planning, planning. Okay, see Thomas, 8B. All right, 8B. Welcome in. I don't know where 8B is, but welcome in. Mama J, I'm in 6B, 7A in the suburbs, PA. I will start in early April. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, that's very good. I I looked and I started onions. I started. Um, let me see what else. Flowers uh, or it, and herbs because they take a, a long time. I started. Um, let's see, parsley. Oh, Texas! Yay, Texas! Hello there. Yes, yes, yes. Texas. I am so glad you're here. Um, so let me see. And I started uh, flowers, delphiniums and foxglove. I don't know if they're going to grow or not, but hey, I'm, I'm a gambler. I'll try it. <laughs> I will try it. Yes, I will. Okay. Yes. All right, I see y'all from all over the place. Warm, warmer places, and and then uh, colder here. Yes. All right. So, anybody else planning anything, or did any kind of planning, or what you gonna do? Or do you want to ask me any questions? You know, ask me questions. I've been gardening for like over twenty years. And I have um, over an acre of land here. And I love gardening. Gardening, I've always, ever since I first got started gardening, I, in my first home that I own, a neighbor came over and gave me some flower seeds. I had never grown anything. I had house plants. I had a few house plants. And I planted those flowers. And they came up beautiful, and then I started adding stuff. I was a natural. I, I didn't. I didn't. Nobody told me anything. So, you know how people talk about to soil prep and and do. I, I didn't know anything at all. All I knew was put it in the ground and water it. And I did, and had plenty of sun, and it turned out beautiful. So when I came here to this house, let's see what's, what uh, tomato works. Uh, this is Alicia Cooper. What tomato works best for you and what's your favorite annual? Okay. Um, I like the heirloom tomatoes and they do well for me. All my tomatoes do well. If you look at my videos, uh, I, I got bumper crops of, of tomatoes. Um, but I like the um, Cherokee purple and brandywine. 
Um, those are my uh, favorite um, tomatoes. And I'm getting into trying some new ones this year too. I'm trying the Paul Robeson. I planted it last year, last season, but I had a disaster where a storm knocked all my seedlings out. So then all my stuff was on the ground and my labels were gone. And I picked up what I could salvage and planted it. And then um, I didn't know some of the new ones that I planted. I didn't know what tomato that was because there was one I grew last year that was so good. The bugs was attacking it. And I said, oh, I wish I knew the name of that tomato. So I'm going to plant the same ones this year so that I can find out which one that was. Yes. So um, let me see. That was uh, oh, my favorite annual, my favorite annual, Zinnia. Zinnia. Love myself some zinnias. I always try to plant me some zinnias. I think they are so beautiful. And the thing about them is they last so long in your garden and they're so beautiful and they bring in those pollinators. And so I love myself some zinnias. So you will see me planting zinnias, although I have not put them in yet because it's not time for me to plant them yet. Let's see. Um, Mama J. I have onions, garlic growing fall to harvest in spring. I have kale, collards, turnips, kohlrabi, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts growing and harvesting. Yay, yeah, girl. Mm, all that stuff I like. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You are doing wonderful, wonderful. I, I got some garlic this time. I put garlic out there. And it's covered, <coughs> excuse me, it's covered in the snow, but it's doing well. And I just can't wait to see how it does. I put it in a big, huge, what I'm doing now is grow bags because it's easier for me to do a grow bag because uh, I'm a great grandmother and, and I'm trying to make life easier. I'm, uh, last year was my first year. Unfortunately, my first year of having a summer retired we had COVID that was my first retired summer uh so that was horrible but uh anyway um I planted uh in a big grow bag everything I seem to be doing in those grow bags are doing good so I said to myself I'm gonna do more of that and this time I have the 15 gallon uh grow bags that I bought on Amazon and I bought a big, um, what is it, 25-gallon. I bought a 25-gallon uh, grow bag, and I'm going to be, uh, I got, I think, six. I got six I just bought. They take a lot of dirt, too. Um, yeah, so um, are people, uh, anybody having any problems finding stuff that you're looking for? You find it, you finding that what you're shopping for is available or in short supply or anything like that? I know for me, okay, you itching for April. I know that's right. That's right, Mama J. I'm itching. I'm itching to get out there and get my, I say, oh, I can't wait to get out there and get my stuff going. I say, I'm going to have the most beautiful garden. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be tired. But I'm planning on canning. I done got a dehydrator, so I'm ready. Freezer. I say I'm ready. Bring it on. Bring it on. Let that. And you know, I always pray over my garden. Always, always. And and I find that I have success. My garden is always successful. You, I have problems. Yeah, you are gonna have problems. You're dealing with Mother Nature out there. You're dealing with, with insects and, and, and weeds and all kind of stuff. But if you stay on top of things, you may lose some things, but some things may do very well for you. So you just kind of, that's where a journal comes in. Now this, Lion Crest, if you're still there, this is what I work on. I need to start keeping a journal. I have a journal. I wrote a few things, but I don't keep it up. When I'm out there gardening, 
I don't keep that up. But that I really need to do because when the certain bugs come and attack, what I used on that bug, did it work? Um, when did they come? It's so much information that I need to be documenting for my garden because everybody's garden is different, you know? Yes. So um, Mama J says, uh, I utilize a 20 gallon grow bags and raised beds. Okay. Okay. I may get some raised beds out there because there's a couple of perennials that I want to put in. Um, prayer is important in everything. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, I, um, let me see, what was I saying? I'm going to um, get some, I may get some raised beds going. You know, I had a big, huge garden. One day I'm going to show it. One day I'm going to show it. I had a huge garden, all raised beds, had made trellises to go in each one that would go up. This was years ago before they had all this cattle panel and all this other stuff. Um, and my garden was an oasis. I'm telling you, like a paradise. I'm, I'm not, I, but I had woodchucks. I didn't know anything about woodchucks. I have a woods along my side of my property. And I said, oh my God, I feel like, let me see, I feel you are on the, the tired feeling for the next season. I just pray that I have not overwhelmed myself because I have a lot. Okay. Well, I have a lot too. I have a lot too. So we in the same boat, C. Thomas. We in the same boat. I have a lot. I have got fruit trees coming. I got things, nut trees. We in the same boat. Excuse me, y'all. Mm. Yes. That's why I say I'm going to get some help. I'm going to try to get some help because I'm going to have to get that stuff in the ground. You know, I'm going to put my stuff in the ground. I, I don't have any room to be keeping stuff in a pod and bringing it in and out. I don't have, I can't do that. I'm going to put it outside in the ground because it's cold here, you know, and things in a pot, uh, uh, trees and stuff like that, I don't think is good for here. I've never done that. And I remember one time I called the co cooperative extension here because I had bought a peach tree and my peach and, and I couldn't get it in the ground in time and the cold weather moved in on me. And I called them up and I said, what should I do? It's in a pot. I don't have it in the ground. I can't get it in the ground now. And how can I keep it alive? And I remember they told me to take that tree if I had any kind of insulation or anything like that. And the cover all around the base of that pot. And he, he told me different things what to do at that time. I can't remember everything, but I remember that putting that stuff around that pot. So that lets me know right there that um, that having a tree in a pot out in this weather is not good. That means I'd have to bring it in the garage. I don't want all that kind of work. I'm, try, I'm trying to guard smarter, not harder. <laughs> yes. So, you know, I, I know in the spring I'm going to be overwhelmed. And not only that, in the spring, but in the, in the, in the fall when everything go to getting harvested, coming in. But, you, but, but I'm trying to think of shortcut things that I can do so that I can handle that. You know what I mean? Like if push come to shove and they send me these bare root things and I can't get them in the ground, just get them in a pot. Get them in a pot. Hold them over until you can do something with them. Um, so that's one shortcut thing I thought about that I, I could do temporarily till I can get to it. Okay. And um, and another thing um, I was thinking of, in, and I have done this before, with like my tomatoes or something I want to can or dry, or if I can't get to that right away, in the freezer. Put it in the freezer. And then 